Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Akadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word of truth and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, so after the four corners of the group, preaching the word of truth and sincerely as well, too. I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this uh, movie. Uh, about to hit theaters in, uh, in January 2024, and I want to say a little few comments about it, and a few scriptures as well too, and this is the uh, first scripture, this is uh, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, and it reads through all these scriptures, uh, be not deceived, because Yahweh is not mocked, for whosoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And, you know, this is a movie that's about to come out, like I mentioned again, in uh, next year of uh, 2024. And this is uh, from the hypebeast.com. And it says, uh, James Samuel's biblical film, The Book of Clarence, sees the first official trailer. It's set to premiere, it's set to premiere early next year. And it says, the Book of Clarence is a biblical film written and directed by the harder they fall. Uh, James, James Samuel has a lot of star power, starting Lakeith Stanfield, who also starred in Samuel's directorial debut and produced by Jay-Z. The cinematic epic tells a timeless biblical story for the eye of every man. It says, I want, I want, I always want to explore the Bible stories, but from the angle of a person tells, says, Jesus and Sanders, the woman or the man that owns the hair salon, Samuel to Manu Fair. The film follows the story of Clarence of Jerusalem, Mike, and turn Messiah, though definitely intriguing by Jesus, Clarence is not a voted religious man, solely becomes a Messiah with the merely focus on his own personal gain. As Clarence's journey progresses, he finds himself developing a deeper connection to his faith. I am Clarence. I am not a man without faith. As that here we stars a Clarence open two minute trailer. I played the cards. I was dealt. Omar, S.I. and R.J. Siler Bennett and James McCoy, Anna Dopp and David Allwall and Alfred Woodard and Tina Taylor also appeared in the film. The Book of Clarence is set to debut in theaters on January the 12th, 2024. Screen trailers above. So, you know, I want to uh, comment on this, you know, as I bring out Galatians 6 and verse 7, you know, so the Heavenly Father is not mocked or his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you know. In the Book of Clarence, I don't think it's a Book of Clarence before. Last time I checked the Holy Scriptures. If that's the case, it should have been the book of the Holy Bible, you know. And, you know, Galatians 6 or 7, you know, so Yahweh is not mocked, you know. Or, only, or his only begotten son as well, either too, you know. So, you know, this basically is like a mockery of the, it's, like, it's basically like a mockery of the Heavenly Father's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you know. And then as I was watching the trailer, you know, because my little brother, he showed me that, you know, when I was looking, I'm like, what the heck is this? You know, because at first I thought it was just, you know, I thought it was just a joke for a second. I thought it was just a little, you know, a little commercial ad or whatever, you know, because my brother, he was watching something on YouTube and I was looking at the ad. I was like, at first I thought it wasn't like a real trailer. I thought it was just a little, you know, 15 to 20 second clip or whatever. And then they were saying, this, uh, this is an actual, you know, this is going to be a, uh, 
you know, this is going to be like an actual movie or whatever, you know. And I was like, the Book of Clarence, you know. I'm like, no, that don't make any sense. I never heard no Book of Clarence. I never heard, heard no Book of Clarence in, in the, in the uh, Holy Bible or the KGB, you know, or the KG version to that, to that extent. You know, I never heard that before. So that shows you that it's making a mockery of the Heavenly Father. It's only begotten Son. And they turn into, you know, and they turn into a little uh, comedy sketch, you know, which is ultimate blasphemy, you know. You know, because you, you, you're making mockery of the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, and then you're making mockery of your, of your own culture, your heritage, and your lineage, and of your nation, you know, because we are the long sheep of the house of Israel, and we are the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, this is not something to be more. This is not something to be uh, made fun of as a comedy sketch, you know. Especially our Lord and our Savior went through a lot, you know. He been mocked, scoffed, mocked at from his own people, you know. So, you know, this is not this is not to be glorified of as a comedy sketch. And the book of Clarence, you know, you know, if that was the case it should have been the book of the Holy Bible. You know, the book of the uh, Holy Bible of the KJV version, you know, if that's the case. But you, but y'all made it out as the book of Clarence, you know, that's, that's ultimate, you know, that's ultimate not good, you know. That's ultimate blasphemy in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only got Son, Yahweh Shai, you know. And I'm bring out some uh, script, scriptures to back up for uh, Galatians 6 and verse 7. So that shows you, hey, Yahweh Bashanel Shas, not to be mocked or be played with, you know. So the Book of Clarence, you know, that's that's ultimate blasphemy in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Like the Scripture says, the uh, the eyes of the Lord is is brighter than the, the eyes of the Lord are, uh, is brighter than the sun, you know. I mean, the eyes of the Lord is uh, bright 10,000 times the brighter of the sun, you know. So the Heavenly Father, he, he's looking at this in disgust, you know. So the Book of Clarence, and like I mentioned again, never heard of the Book of Clarence before. And they made this as a mockery of a common sketch of Yahweh Shai, you know, and along with the disciples, you know, and the cast members in the movies, you know, that's, that's ultimate blasphemy. You know, that's ultimate blasphemy, you know. That's not good in the sight of the Heavenly Father. In the zone, we got Son, you have a shot, you know. So, uh, in the meantime, we'll bring out Galatians 6 and 7. And I'm going to uh, probably bring some precepts right along with it. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. So this is ultimate blasphemy, you know. I mean, especially of our Lord and our Savior, you know, you don't make a mockery of this, you know. This is not something to glorify as, as mockery, you know. You know, this is very serious, you know. Especially, you know, we the Israelites, you know, and especially you look at Matthews 1 and 21, Joel 2 and 27, and many other scriptures that shows you that the Heavenly Father did the ultimate sacrifice that died for his people. Even if, you know, even if his uh, people was going against him, even though they were scoffing him, mocking him, laughing at him, you know, the ultimate hill that Yahweh Shai went through. And, you know, they about to make a movie, especially the messed up part about it is, you know, this brother, you know, he's going to be the uh, the star of the uh, movie as him being depicted as uh, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. And then they go make it as they, uh, they add a mixture of it as a comedy skit, you know. Now, if they was going to make this movie, at least make it rather than the Book of Clarence, they should make it as the Book of the Holy Scriptures. You know, the Book of the Holy Scriptures. 
the book of the Holy Scriptures or the KJV version, you know, and then make it as a, a, a serious movie so it can be uh, enlightening to be educational purposes, you know, for educational purpose for the children of Israel. But no, you know, they did it the other way. You know, they want to make it in their own way. The Book of Clarence. You know, I never heard of a, a story about Book of Clarence before, you know. Last time I checked, I never heard of the Book of Clarence in, in, the, in the Holy Scriptures. So that's ultimate, you know, that's ultimate blasphemy, you know. And that's not good in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So there's going to be some ultimate consequences all for that, you know. Because that's made a reproach and a mockery, you know. And there's going to be some uh, serious consequences from that, you know. Hey, Yahweh Shai, now Shai is not down with that. You know, the Lord, He sees everything. He sees this, you know. And this is not good in the sight of Yahweh Shai, now Shai. This is, this is made a... a, 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 a a, a mock and reproach, you know. Book of Tain on this is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whosoever a man soweth, he shall he also reap. Right, whoever they, they gonna, that man also will reap, you know. Yeah, There's gonna be consequences for that, you know. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 be not deceived evil communications corrupt good matters this is uh, Ephesians 5 and 6 let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things cometh the wrath of God is upon the children of disobedience right the wrath of the children of disobedience Hosea 4 and 6, my people are discorded for a lack of knowledge, a vain glory of, uh, of them loving this world. You don't want to be a uh, top notch of this world. So you make the Lord a, uh, a, a, a mock and a, and a reproach. So that's the ultimate blasphemy, you know. So the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, is not down with that. Yahweh is not down with that. The book of the book of you know the book of Clarence. You know, you make a mockery, and you make a mockery of your own history, of your 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 Lord and Savior. You know, which is your Abishai. He died for the nation of Israel. You know, so you make a mockery and a reproach from your own heritage, your own lineage. You know, this is this is serious business. You know, so you made a mockery of this as a comedy sketch of the sufferings of our Lord and our Savior as a mockery of a comedy sketch. You know, so the Heavenly Father's not dealing with that, you know. Hey, whoever whoever has, uh, whoever a uh, man saw if he also reap, you know, there's gonna be consequences for that, you know. And this is uh Proverbs eleven and eighteen. The wicked works a deceitful work. But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a reward. Hey, doing this uh, movie, that's a, that's a wicked, deceitful work, you know. Just like I rung out Galatians 6 and 7, for your album is not mocked. And whosoever will sow also shall reap, you know. Hey, it's going to be serious consequences for that, you know. This is our first Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers to themselves with mankind. And this is Job 15 and 31. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, uh, Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. 
you know, that's glory and vanity of this world, you know, so, hey, the book of Clarence, you know, that's going to be uh, ultimate embarrassment for them bringing out that movie, you know, and they use it as a comedy sketch of Yahweh Shai, you know, our Lord and our Savior, of what he had been through, you know, to for, get the ultimate sacrifice to die for his people, the nation of Israel. And you're going to make that as a, a mock and reproach, you know. And it's going to be serious consequences for that, you know. Especially up two-thirds of Israel, you know. So Israel, hey, you got to turn away, turn from those vanity ways, you know. Hey, come back into the ways of righteousness, you know. But this movie, uh, The Book of Clarence, you know, that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate blasphemy in the sight of Yahweh Bashanel Shah, you know. I'm going to go back to Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, and God is not mocked. For whosoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah. And I'm going to bring up that uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 4 and 4. And this is the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 4. In whom the God of this world, who have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, Ahavashiach, who is the image of God, shall show unto them. Right, so the God of this world have blinded the minds of the people, including our people as well, too, making mockery and approach. Of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh with this book of Clarence. You know, that's ultimate blasphemy in the sight of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh So it's going to be recompense for that, you know. You don't make mockery, you know, you don't make mockery of our Lord and our Savior, you know. You know, that's, that's not good, you know. That's 100% totally not good. That's totally unacceptable, you know. So, hey, the book of Clarence, you know, it should be the book of, it should be the book of, of the Holy Scriptures. Hey, the book of the KJV Bible of the Holy Scriptures. If that was the case, he was going to make a movie of it. And then number two, if he was going to make a movie about that, at least in about it, make it very serious. Because that was very serious during those times with our Lord and our Savior, what he went through, you know. Had to deal with his people. You know, how him, when he out there teaching the gospel, you know, speaking to the disciples, you know, uh, in the part of the meeting in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, you know, during those times, what the Havashai, or what he had to deal with, you know, had to fight Satan, you know, spiritual Satan, you know. So, hey, our Lord and our Savior went through a lot, you know. Hey, he went through hell, you know. When he was living on this earth, when he was in the flesh, living on this earth, you know. So to make the, this movie book of Clarence to make mockery of Yahweh Shai and the people during those ancient times, you know, to make that a mockery and a comedy sketch, you know, hey, that's that's mockery and reproach, and the Heavenly Father's not deal with that, and it's only got some of you as well too. So it's gonna be a uh, ultimate recompense for that, you know. It's going to be uh, ultimate recompense and consequences for that, you know. So you don't make mockery of your own heritage, on your own cook, your own culture, your customs, your heritage, and of your own people, and your own, your Lord and your Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, he does he, you know, you know, she never, she never did that, you know. And this is uh, the book of Hosea. Because Israel, you know, Israel, which is us, we are the most sheep in the house of Israel, twelve tribes of Israel. <coughs> and this is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are discorded for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. It says, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast, re seeing thou hast uh, forgotten the law. 
I'm gonna read that again so I can. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. Right, because thou hast rejected knowledge, thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Right, and that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. You know, hey, we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know, coming back to who we actually are, coming back into the right path of our righteousness in the sight of the Heavenly Father, how will His only begotten Son, how will shine? and not do nothing to make mockery of our Lord and our Savior, you know? Hey, you reject the Heavenly Father, you make mockery and reproach of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Hey, he's gonna reject you. Hey, he's gonna put you under these uh, heavy curses, under these heavy conditions, you know, uh, being that Deuteronomy 28 and 28, shall smite thee with man, it's your conditions, your enemies will know you, you know, the score for a lack of knowledge. You know, thou shalt not be no priest unto me, you know, because thou hast got, forgotten the law of, of Yahweh, and I will also forget thy children. And that's what the Heavenly Father is doing to his, uh, his, uh, his chosen children, you know, because we follow in the ways of, we follow in the ways of this world. We follow in the ways of modern day Babylon. We follow in the ways of uh, modern day Egypt. We follow in the water, modern day ways of uh, the modern day Tower of Babylon, you know. So, hey, I'm going to read it again. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are the school for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. Right? The children of Israel rejected knowledge. They love to follow the ways of this world. Just like it says in uh, Proverbs 3, verse 5, and verse 6, I'm going to bring that out as well, too. Lean not to thy, lean not to thy own understanding. You know? Trust the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai and lean not unto your own understanding. Because you lean, in, um, lean into your own understanding and it's following the ways of this world. It's like it says in 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So we cannot love the ways of this world. But love the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And I'm going to read again, it's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also forget thee. Because it says uh, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou uh, forgotten the law of thy God, which is Yahweh of Israel, which is our heavenly Father in heaven. Uh, Yahweh of Israel, I will also forget thy children. Right, since we're doing this uh, mockery and approach of the Heavenly Father, hey, he's going to reject us. Hey, he's going to forget thy children. And that's what we've been doing from ancient times and modern day times, you know. Because all of uh, the mockery and reproach and doing the folliness. Matter of fact, I, f I forgot about that. I just thought about that. Uh, folly. Look up that definition. Father, Father, he said a great thing. Because this is ultimate blasphemy. This is ultimate folly. Uh, with this movie about to come out in uh, January of uh, January the 12th, 2024, the Book of Clarence. You know, you know that's totally all. That's totally going off. You know, a hey, Galatians 6 and 7. You know, Yahweh is not mocked. He's not the author of confusion, but he is well too. You know. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly set great dignity in the rich sit in low places. And I'm going to look up the definition of uh, folly. Because this movie, this movie that's about to come out in theaters of next year is folly. The definition of a uh, folly. Lack of good sense, foolishness. Folly. 
now foolishness, right? That's foolishness in the sight of the Heavenly Father, you know? Hey, the Heavenly Father's not dealing with that, you know? Hey, that's ultimate blasphemy. That's ultimate folly, you know? Now, I'm going to read it again. It's uh, Ecclesiastes, the Book of Clients. You know, that's, that's ultimate folly. That's a, a mocking approach. And this movie is going to be mixed in with uh, comedy as well, too. You know, the Heavenly Father's not dealing with that. You know, he despised that, you know? This is a, so there's going to be ultimate uh, consequences for that, you know? This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. And this is uh, 1 John. And this is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right, so we cannot love the ways of this world, but love the ways of Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. You know, and follow uh, what meekness, humbleness, and sincerity. You know, and not make mock or reproach of our Lord and our Savior, just like Galatians 6 and 7. For Yahweh is not mocked. You know, whosoever soweth, they shall also reap. You know, yeah, there is going to be uh, serious consequences for that because Yahweh is not mocked. Then we'll go back to Galatians 6 and 7. This is uh, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whosoever a man sows, they also shall reap. Right? It's going to be a consequences for that. It's going to be repercussions for that, for making that move, you know. Especially those Israelites. Best believe they know, they know for sure that they are Israel, you know. And the main character, you know, this up and coming star, you know. That's to be the main character in the movie, which is he plays as Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and our Savior. You know, so he played a role of it, of a, 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 as they look at it as a, some type of comedy sketch. It's, it's not no comedy sketch. You know, this is very serious. This is serious business. I mean, this is talking about our, our language, our culture, our customs, and of our great forefathers in ancient times. And you want to look at this movie as a. Uh, uh, a, a mock and a reproach and a comedy sketch, you know. It shouldn't be that way, you know. They shouldn't they shouldn't even make this movie, you know. If they was gonna make this movie at least having uh, of it being real serious without the uh, comedy, you know, and change the name of the movie. You know, the the book of uh the book of the Holy Scriptures. The book of the Holy Scriptures of the uh, KJV version, you know. At least make it that way, you know. But but what they want to do, make mockery, uh, make mockery of our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shah, you know, and the disciples and the cast members, you know, during those uh, times, you know, because those no times were more serious times, you know. So you know that's 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 ultimate blasphemy. You know the heavenly Father's not the heavenly Father's only got Son Yahweh Shai not dealing with that. You know. You know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh of Israel, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, should have despised that, you know. And this is uh, Galatians 6 and 7. I'm going to read it again through the Holy Scriptures. It says, Be not deceived, for Yahweh is not mocked. For whosoever a man soweth, shall he also reap. Yeah, that's true. And this is Hosea 4 and 6. I'm going to bring this out again. My people are the score for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest of me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Yep. Because stuff like this, uh, folly, folly said great dignity, 
you know, the scorn for a lack of knowledge in other ways of this world, vanity, uh, vanity, glory, you know, and to make mockery of your have a shot like that, especially in this movie, which I'm about to uh, show this again. You know, the book of Clarence, you know. Last time I checked, it wasn't no book of Clarence. It was the book of the Holy Bible. You know, the book of the Holy Bible. The book of the Holy Bible on the KJV, Holy Scriptures. Not the book of Clarence, you know. So that's that's ultimate mockery and it's like the heavenly father Yahweh and his only got son Yahweh Shah, you know. I'm gonna bring out that Galatians 6 and then I'm gonna close it out. And this is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whomsoever a man soweth, they shall also reap. Right, so there's going to be uh, consequences for that. There's going to be repercussions for that, you know. So you'll make mockery of your own heritage and your lineage, you know, of your of your nation and of your people, especially your Lord and your Savior. That's, that's ultimate blasphemy, you know. That's, that's, I mean, that's not right, you know, to make mockery of a comedy sketch with it along with it as well, too, you know. And Jay-Z said he's going to promote this movie. And then I believe he's uh, made, pro produced, and production of this movie as well, too, as I was uh, looking at the uh, cast members of it as well, too. You know, so that's that's ultimate blasphemy. You know, yeah, Bashmael Shah is not dealing with that, you know. This is uh, made a, a mockery and real approach, you know. I'm going to bring out that second Peter's. <coughs> Change my mind. I'm not going to close it just yet. We got a uh, one more scripture or, or another scripture or so, whatever the spirit leads leads to. And this is a uh, Second Peter chapter three verse three. It says, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust." Right. This is walking after their own lust. You know, the book of Clarence, you know, that's, that's, that's blasphemy, you know, that's, that's mockery, that's a mockery, an uh, animal approach, you know, hey, Yahweh Bashanel Shah is not dealing with that, you know, hey, I'm going to bring up that Ecclesiasticus chapter of the Old Testament, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 verse 9. This is uh, Ecclesiastica chapter 1 verse 9 and it reads the Holy Scriptures. The thing that, it says, the thing that have been, it is that which it shall be, and that which is done, that which shall be done, and there's nothing new thing under the sun, right? So there's no new thing under the sun, you know? Just like, uh, just like during those times, you know, Yahweh Shai is our Lord and our Savior, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, our own people laughed and scoffed and mocked him, you know, you know, and they were saying, hey, this is the king of the Jews, you know, how to, yeah, you know, how our Lord and our Savior had to go through all that during those ancient times, you know, so for, for the Israelites, you know, to make a movie of this, to mock the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son of Yahweh Shai, you know, that, that's, that's ultimate mockery and reproach, you know, and that's not good in the sight, that's not good in the sight for the nation of Israel, for the Israelites, you know, I'm going to bring up that Zechariah, 
So, you know, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be ultimate, ultimate consequences for that, you know. So, like Jake say, hey, like Jake say in the world, hey, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is not rocking with that, you know. So, hey, Galatians 6 and 7, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is not mocked, you know. Whosoever sows also shall reap, you know. And this is uh, ultimate blasphemy. And this is ultimate, going to be uh, serious uh, consequences and recompense for that, you know. Hey, Yahweh Bashem El Shai see these things, you know. He's not down with that, you know. Hey, uh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai uh, despised that, like I mentioned before, you know. This is uh, Zechariah chapter 13. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, fine. Uh, no, that's the, I mean, that's Zephaniah, I meant to say Zechariah. My apologies, Salakia. Zechariah chapter 13. Oh, that's the 14, let's say 13. Yep, here, go right here. And this is Zechariah chapter 13. This is, this is for the two thirds of Israel. That continue to make mockery and a reproach of our Lord and our Savior Yahushai, and continue to do evilness and wickedness in the in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Hey, this is the ultimate uh, price right here. This is the Book of Zechariah, chapter thirteen, verse eight. And it and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. Right, so two thirds of Israel keep on being in that mockery and reproach, being in that folly spirit, being in that Babylonian spirit, being in that modern day Egypt spirit, being in that modern day Tower of Babel spirit, being in that modern days of Noah spirit, eating and drinking and giving into marriage and not discerning the times or what times that we are living in, living in some serious times and don't discern the times, you know. You know, those, these are just prime examples. If Israel keep on being in that evil and wicked spirit in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem El Shai, you know, the Heavenly Father will have to do no option, have no other option but cut two thirds of Israel off if they continue to follow that uh, evil and wicked path, you know. In this prime example of this uh, movie, uh, Book of Clarence, hey, you know, Yahweh Hashem El Shai is not rocking with that. He's not dealing with that. You know, that's a, a mockery and reproach of our, our heritage, our culture, and our customs of biblical times. This was a historical facts. You know, this was historical, serious stuff that was taking place during those ancient times. You know, I mean, come on now. We're talking about our Lord and our Savior. Yahweh Shai did the ultimate price that that for his uh, people. And I'm going to bring up that Matthews 1 and 21. You know, he did the ultimate sacrifice, you know. Even if his people didn't like him, despised him, you know, even if Yahweh Shai's enemies was mocking him and scoffing him, you know, hey, our Lord and our Savior, he went through hell, man, you know, and this is not something to be played about, not to be joked about, you know, he died for the nation of Israel, you know, this is uh, Matthew's 1 and 21, and she's. It says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people for their sins. Right, and the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, save us for our sins, our transgressions, and our iniquities, our evilness that we've been doing in his sight for a very long time, and still to this day. And this with the ultimate price Yahweh Shai gets in return, you know, that, that's that's not right. You know, so just like I brought up that Zechariah uh Zachariah 13 and 8, you know, two-thirds of Israel is not gonna make it, you know, if they continue in that path, you know. I'm gonna 
gonna bring up that uh, Isaiah. So you know that that's, that's ultimate blasphemy in the society of the Ahabashim Al Shai, you know. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Paphros and from Cush and from Elam and from Sharnar and from Moth and from the islands of the sea. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. And it shall, and he shall set up an assign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four winds of the four corners of the globe. And this is for the righteous, the one third remnant. You know, because Heaven Father is going to serve one third remnant of His people that He's going to preserve. And Israel continue to be in that uh, mockery, reproach, folly. And evil and wicked ways of this world, you know, just like it says in Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, but being renewed in your mind, you know. So, you know, like I mentioned again, this uh, movie Book of Clarence, a hey, you know, that's that's a mockery and reproach, you know, the how about Shemel Shah is not rocking with that, he's not dealing with that, you know, that's why two thirds of Israel is. On this side, it's, on this go around, it's not going to make it, you know. A, it's best to come back into the ways of Yahweh Bashan El Shai and we'll, we'll repent and we'll repent of, of our Lord and our Savior, Hamashiach and Yahweh Shai, and come back into the ways of righteousness and get out of that uh, folly spirit and get out of that mockery spirit, you know. Now's the time to do so, you know, because A, the Heavenly Father, He. A, the eyes of the Lord is ten times brighter than the sun, you know. A, the Heavenly Father, he sees everything, you know. You know, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite, you know, but I'm trying to turn from my evil and wicked ways as well, too. But to be, you know, you know, since I said that as a man, as an Israelite man, well, you know, A, A, being mockery and reproach of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that's a ultimate... That's the ultimate thing that you shouldn't do. Any Israelite shouldn't be able to do that, you know. Even if we fall in the ways of righteousness to the best of our ability in the Israelites that's of this world. Hey, that's the ultimate thing that you shouldn't do. Make mock make mockery of the heavenly father's only begotten son. To make mockery of Yahweh Bashan El Shah. You know, hey, Lord, the Lord ain't dealing with that, you know. Hey, the Heavenly Father's only begotten son, Yahweh Shah despised that, you know. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. I mean, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 13. The, the envy of, I mean, the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. It says, uh, Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall now vex Ephraim. Yep, that's when the tribe's going to get back together. You know the one third remnant of the uh, the one third remnant that's going to be preserved because two thirds of Israel on this go around is not going to make it if they continue to be in that in that evil and wicked way. You know, you know, continue to follow the ways of evilness and wickedness and mockery and reproach and definitely mocking Yahweh Shai. You know, so uh, that's that's ultimate blasphemy, man. Hey, that's a hundred percent totally not right. You know. And then make uh, mockery and reproach and, and scoff and, you know, and make mock, you know, to make mockery and, and, and look at that as a comedy sketch and put it in as uh, the book of uh, the book of Clarence rather than having it as the book of the Holy Bible of Yahweh Shai and our Lord and our Savior, you know. So, you know, that, that's a... That's total blasphemy, you know. Hey, yeah, Bashmi Ashai is not dealing with that. That's ult that's ultimate mockery and reproach, you know. I'm gonna bring out that uh um, bring out Romans twelve two. Since I since I brought out the uh first John two and fifteen already. And then I'm gonna bring out that uh Proverbs three through five and verse six as well too. 
So that shows you that the Heavenly Father is not dealing with, uh, that's a, the Harabash and Elshai is not dealing with no mockery. Just like I brought out Galatians 6 and 7 as an introduction of this uh, sit down lesson. Uh, of me uh, speaking a few words about this uh, movie that's about to come out January the 12th, 2044, of uh, the book of uh, Clarence. Hey, Yahweh Shemel Shah is not dealing with that. You know, that's mockery and reproach. And that's something, you know, that's not good. You know? That's just making mockery of our culture and our language and our heritage. In uh, biblical times of our descendants, of our uh, forefathers, and of uh, our descendants of the Heavenly Father, and it's all we got, son, Yahweh Shai, our, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, to make that as a mockery economy sketch, you know. Uh, you know, that's just, you know, that just ultimately, you know, that's ultimately not right, you know. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, consequences for that, you know. This is uh, Romans 12 and 2. It says, Be not conformed to this world, but ye transform it by the renewing of your mind, and that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect in the will of, of God. And that's following the ways of righteousness and not following the ways of mockery and reproach and mockery of the Heavenly Father, the High One, the Son, the Son, Yahweh Shai. Try your best to 100% escape those ways and follow the ways of righteousness. You know, because scripture says the Heavenly Father, uh, you ain't supposed to have no graven images on him as well, too. I forgot all about that as well, too, uh, since I just mentioned it, you know. And, you know, so, hey, we're not supposed to make mockery of the Heavenly Father, the Bible, or it's only got son, you have a shy to make, not make mockery of our own heritage, our culture, our culture and our language, or our lineage as well, too, of our great forefathers. Our great ultimate forefathers, you know, definitely our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, you know, we're not supposed to make mockery of that, you know. That's a, that's that's a totally that's ultimate, you know, that's a, that's ultimate blasphemy, you know, in the sight of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know. So, a hey, Israel that's in that mindset, you know, two thirds is not gonna make it, you know, one third of remnant is gonna be saved. As we follow in the righteous path to the best of our ability and not being in that and not being in that proud, boastful, arrogant mindset. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring out second Timothy's as well too. So a hey, oh yeah, before I bring out that second Timothy's the third chapter, verse one through verse uh eight. I'm gonna bring up that Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, through verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Right? So we got to trust in the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shah and not lean unto thy own understanding. Because if you continue to lean to your own understanding, that means you're following the ways of this world. And we're not supposed to follow the ways of this world. As you're saying, I brought out the first John 2 and 15, right along with the Romans 12 and 2. You know, we got to be renewed in our mind, you know, and continue not to be indoctrinated and not continue to be indoctrinated in the ways of this world, but follow the ways of Yah, Basham, El Shah. And that's following the righteous path of our Lord and our Savior, you know, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, you know, and the Heavenly Father, uh, Yahweh of Israel. And as long as we got the son, Yahweh Shai, that's following the ways of righteousness and not leaning, and not, definitely not leading into our own understanding, you know. And this is a uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. And this is a uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6. And all, it says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Right, so as long as we continue in the path of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and following the ways of righteousness, as we continue to acknowledge Him, we continue to acknowledge the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, 
and he shall direct our path and that's following the ways of righteousness following the ways of wisdom and knowledge and understanding you know and not following the ways of this world and not following the ways of modern day babylon uh, modern day egypt modern day tower of babylon you know and not in that uh james 1 and 8 a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways you know but i'm bring matter of fact i'm gonna bring that out as well too before I burned out that second Timothy's. And this is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 8. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways, right? So that's a, them making that movie. That's, that's a double minded way, you know, because they follow the ways of this world, follow the ways of uh, folly, foolishness, uh, nonsense, you know. So, hey, those are the ways of, of an unstable man. The unstable is by man, you know, to make it mockery and reproach, you know, uh, uh, to make it as, as that as a comedy sketch, you know, the book of Clarence, you know, you know, so that, that's totally going off, that's totally, uh, blasphemy in the sight of Yahweh you know, that's kind of unbalanced, that's unstable, it's best for us to follow, it's best for us to follow the ways of, uh, of righteousness, uh, follow the ways of everlasting life follow the ways of righteousness and through the repentance of our Lord and our Savior you have a shot you know? and not to make mockery or reproach of our Lord and our Savior you have a shot that was definitely what he done went through you know so you have a shot he's not rocking with that he's not dealing with that you know and this is a uh, second Timothy's and these I would say these be this would be the last scripture that I'm going to close out This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, vile, blasphemy. Yup, blasphemy. Yup, blasphemers. Yup, that's, that's the key word, blasphemers. Of that movie, The Book of Clarence. That's that's ultimate blasphemous. Hey, you how washing out shad? It's not dealing with something that's like that's ultimate blasphemy in the sight of you how washing out shad. It says disobedience of parents, unthankful and holy. And this is a uh, Second Timothy chapter three verse three. It says without natural affliction, true breakers, false accusers, and content. Fears the spies of those that are good. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 4. Traitors, he is high minded, lover of, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of Yahweh, Yahweh of Israel. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the powers of love, for such turn of weight. And this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. For of this sort are they which creep into the house and led captive silly women laid with sins and laid away with the diverse lust. Second Timothy 3 and 7. Ever learned and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 8. Oh, that was verse 7. So I came out of promise. Hey, so with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying. You know, I just want to say a few words on this uh, movie that's about to hit theaters in uh, January the 12th, 2024, of Book of Clarence. You know, so hey, you have watched me out it's not rocking with that, you know. And this is totally blasphemy in the sight of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, you know, so, hey, the Lord is not rocking with that, you know, it is making mockery and, and reproach of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, you know, so with that, once again, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying, even though this lesson was kind of long, so lucky for that, but I just want to say a few words on this uh, movie, because the brothers, uh, one brother, uh, he was able to do a, a, you know, a lesson on this, so he was like, you know, I was like, you know what, let me do a lesson on this as well, too. Uh, a few words uh, about this uh, movie that's about to come out uh, next year. 
of January the uh, 12th, 2024. Uh, but this book, called, this movie, but called not the, the book of, uh, you know, the book of Clarence, you know. So a they add if I seen that trailer early yesterday because you know it's 12 o'clock, it's a new day already. You know, as I seen the uh, little trailer of this uh, movie that's about to come out next year. You know, it, it, it had a little comedy sketch to it. So, you know, this ultimate blasphemy in the sight of Yahweh Shemashah, just like I broke out Second Timothy's, the third chapter. And that's the key word, blasphemy. You know, hey, this is this is not good in the sight of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, you're making mockery of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh Shemashah. And the, uh, of our great forefathers during those ancient times on top of that as well, too, you know. So, a hey, Yahweh Bashamel Shah is not dealing with that. You know, this is ultimate blasphemy, you know. And this is not to be made fun of, to not made as a, a comedy. You know, we're making a, a comedy of our own heritage, our culture, and our lineage of our Lord and our Savior during those biblical times, because those times were serious, not as a comedy sketch, you know. And this is not to be mocked or laughed about or comedy about, you know, this is serious business. So, A, A Yahweh Shemel Shai sees this man. Like I said again, the eyes of the Lord is ten times brighter than the sun. As a matter of fact, since I've quoted that like two or three times, I'm going to bring that out as well, too. And then after that, and then I'm going to close it out with the Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7, once again. The eyes salaki spell it right the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun so lucky if that. Yep, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter. Yep, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 23, verse 19. And this is uh, which is the book of Sorak, chapter 23, verse 19 of the Apocrypha books of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men are considered the most secret parts. And this is a uh, right. So the eyes of the Lord is uh, brighter than ten times than the sun. You know, hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai sees everything. He sees that movie. Uh, <laughs> The book of A, the, the book of uh, the book of Clarence, you know, that's blasphemy in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, you know, A, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is not mocked, and whosoever, uh, whosoever soweth, they shall also reap, you know. Yep, read it again, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh of Israel is not mocked, for whosoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yep, and matter of fact, um, my apology once again, I'm going to bring up the, this is going to be a final scripture. This is a mockery and a reproach. This is going to be our last scripture that I'm going to bring it out. And this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 27, verse 28. Mockery and a reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie and wait for them. Yep, so this movie, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is not rocking with. This is an ultimate blasphemy in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his only got son, Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, we go back to so this movie, uh, 
book of, you know, book of acquaintance. Hey, yeah, how about you, man? Sure, that's not good with that. Shamel Shad's not but dealing with no book of clones. You know? This is a uh, totally blasphemy and this is totally folly, you know, folly inside of Yahweh by Shamel Shad, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close back with that scripture, Ecclesiasticus. I just thought about that. And this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, verse 6. Folly, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. So, Yahweh Shemeshah is not dealing with no book of uh, Clarence. Hey, Yahweh Shemeshah is not dealing with that. Like I mentioned again numerous of times, uh, repeatedly. So, you know, hey, once again, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying. I would like to give all praises, and glory, and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, who's got the four points of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.